fine, will you? Fuck me. Where are they? Are you kidding me? Are they all the way up there? Fuck that. Come on. Get in this car and we rush them. Get in, bot. They're probably fighting these stupid bots, are they? Ah, I don't like this stupid gun. Who the fuck else is shooting there? Is that a glitch? Lads! Lads, what is actually going on? There's no one shooting. Ooh, there is someone shooting, is there? Lads, what the fuck? Is it glitch? Lads, how do I get rid of that? Do you hear it? What the actual hell is going on? Ah, uh, I'm going to have to end this game and restart. It's doing my head in. Here, does anyone know how to get rid of that? Fucking hell, like, that is so annoying. How the fuck am I supposed to play in these circumstances? Leave the area, yeah, that might work. Right, come on, girl. Our loadout is pretty shit, but fuck it. We could head back over to Lavish and do some more loot in there, or get in. Um, yeah, let's just head back over to Lavish and loot there for a bit. Fucking hell, that is so annoying. Now I can't tell what's real shooting and what isn't. Fuck off, my head's wrecked. Oh, he just died. How did, who killed him? Oh, I see the little cunt with the snipe. Look. Did you see him? I don't have a sniper. Oh, where is he? I need to get into the circle, so I'm going to have to cross this. This little bastard is up here. He has a snipe on me, look. It's really hard to snipe with. Ooh, you got a shot on me there. Oh, fuck! My stupid gun! Ah! Right, guys, I'm gonna actually go. have a smoke and then I'll come back on I didn't reload my stupid gun Paul I don't know if that's better there or here what is my hair doing what is my hair doing yeah I might go have a smoke no fuck it will we do another one fuck it I feel like the lighting is awful guys like can you just actually see properly I can put the ring light on but I feel like that's just going to be too bright and annoying to everyone, can you actually see there? No, I don't smoke that stuff. No harm to anyone who does, it just ain't for me. Mate, you're about 70 years behind. Your bitch doesn't have an OF link. That's how I have time to sit and play Fortnite. <laughs> was it better up where it was or is it okay there? Can you actually see? I need to like figure out how to 
Oh no, don't spectate. Um, I need to actually figure out how to like link it up and stream it. Paul, how do you do it? You know how. I need you to message me and tell me, like, can I stream from a PlayStation though? Like, I feel like I wouldn't be able to. What do you mean, Keelan? There's another chance for you to dance with me. Paul, are you in here? Please tell me, how do I do it? I feel like Alex's Xbox would be so much better because he has like a big, huge TV, but it's just, I can't play it. I can't play it. I don't know how to play with the Xbox controller. I got this PlayStation last year, I think, because I kind of got addicted to GTA and I wasn't buying a newer one because I only played one game, but I'm still not buying a newer one to play Fortnite. Until Fortnite stops running on it, I ain't buying a PS5 because there's no fucking point. What's the use? Let's do our new emote. Do you like my skin, guys? Ugh, right. Come on. Right, where will we go? Where will we go, guys? I love Classy. I always go to Classy. It's just my favourite place to land for some reason. I think I don't really like closed off places for whatever reason. I did. I did. I thank you. I thank the bus driver, our darling. Yeah, I'm not, I have shit aim, like, I'm not a fucking sweat at all. I have shit aim, I'm not great at playing at all, but. Did someone just land on me? Oh my God. Oh, it's a bot. Hello, botty. How are you? Watch us. Fuck the auto warrior one. Okay. I don't like them new Warforged assault rifles, guys. I won't use them. I actually hate them. They're shy. I don't like them drum guns either. I literally only like Frenzy Auto Shotguns and Nemesis Aors. That's it. I'm not interested in anything else. Actually, there was pots, wasn't there? Let's do these little ones first. Okay, now let's do... slap in here so we'll go and do that okay 
Okay. Now, let me just do the, the gap and then we'll go look for enemies. Ooh, blue box. How did I miss that? Ooh, legendary AOR. What scope? I don't like that scope, so we will need to actually take that off and go to the vault. I don't like, I'm a weirdo, lads. Like, I literally don't like any scope on my AOR, which I know is so weird. Like, when I told Daniel that, he was like, you're a freak. Well, there was a fucking bot in here anyways. What the hell? What was the bot? What's going on here? Shit. Fucking hell. Hello, can you freaking go in? Useless. Why do they break the freaking walls like that? Someone tell me. Why do the bots insist on breaking the freaking walls? Why do the walls need to be broken? I don't get it. Is it because they can't, like, get through without breaking the walls? Like, so they want to break the walls? I don't know. I love Classy because it's peaceful and you can loot up and get quite... I always get quite a good loot at Classy. Honestly. Right, let's bolt it out of here. I'm such a bad driver in this. Are you having a laugh? Flip. Oh, it turned it around for me. Nice. Thank you. Okay, we're going to look out for shots, I suppose. Oh shit, the train's probably gonna crash into me here. Ooh, that person has a bot and I have no fucking sniper. Someone literally just swimming here. Ooh, shots. Okay, this person has a bot, so ideally we'd like to hit them from a distance. Who the fuck is shooting at me? Where are you, little? Where is that person shooting at me? Oh, I see them. Look at them. Look at them. The fucking Egypts. Anyway. Right, now I'm going for a smoke because I keep fucking dying. Well done, Katie. Wait till they put you into lobbies with real people and it gets actually fucking hard. I remember my first game of Fortnite. I think I came up 
second or something I thought it was so weird. <laughs> now I go up like 50th right lads I'm going for a smoke and I also I'm getting food and then I might come back on I can't look at my invert it, look at me in this inverted camera is this actually what I look like is this actually what I look like tell me I don't like it I feel like I look really different um, but I'll come back on live and pay and play in a bit. Okay. I, I need to stream. It would just be be me getting so angry, lads. Like when me and Alex are playing duos, like, oh my God, let me tell you what happened last night. So last night we were playing, playing duos. And no, let me remember exactly what happened. Alex died like three times in one match and I had to go and keep reviving him. But these people are like camping the card, like sitting, like waiting at the fucking card. I had to do some ninja shit to get in and get in. Anyway, so it was just stressful as fuck. I actually don't like duos as much as I like solos because I find it way too stressful. 27, I'm playing Fortnite. God knows what age you are with a fake account and called the boys. I think you should focus on yourself. Fitzy, how but how can I do that from a PlayStation? I don't have a computer and I don't want to play Fortnite on computer. I don't know how now. Why does this fella keep saying keel and hamster? Like what's he on about? Goodbye, you fucking weirdo. I think he's trying to say something about Keelan Moncrief. Fucking loser. Goodbye. Hey Maeve, how are you? I literally said I was going off, but then I just start conversating and that's it. I'm gonna um, mirror my video because I can't look at myself like this. It's actually freaking me out. <laughs> Lovely. Um, hi Gemma. Um, zero build. I can't even aim on build. How am I supposed to aim? Are you mad zero build? Or I can't even aim on zero build. Because, Emer, you can't, um, you get restricted. Sorry. That's why. I don't play ranked, Ryan. I actually, will I give a ranked game a go later on on live and see what happens? I'll just die straight away immediately i'll die immediately on immediate impact i will die because i've seen alex playing ranked and it looks fucking hard oh nice F sm nice lh yeah i will just die immediately on impact <laughs> I feel like it'd be easier to play on... Guys, anyone that plays on PC, is Fortnite easier to play on PC or on PlayStation? Because I feel like on PlayStation with the thing, like it's very hard to have good aim with that fucking toggle thing, you know what I mean? Do you like Nando's? I actually had my first ever Nando's while I was in Leeds. What What is the like... How do you move it on PlayStation? Like, how do you actually move the person? Like, I don't understand that. Oh, how did you get on, LH? Um, yeah, how do you move it? How do you actually move the person? You know the way on the Fortnite you use the, or on the PlayStation you use the toggle thing? I have tried Raising Cane's, yeah, I tried it when I was in New York. It was really, really good, but I don't get the hype around it. Mouse and keyboard, oh. W and SG, Jesus, what? Right, I might go up and play one more game then, but guys, I'm shy, I, I'm really bad, so I just play it for fun. And it takes me, like, I literally, is anybody else like this? So when I'm playing, I play about three games, four games, until I actually play properly. Like, I'll lose loads first. Oh, it doesn't matter, I'll hate you. got to go. You qualified. That's all that matters. My worlds, my last worlds that I danced in, I qualified. 
my team won the worlds that year, but solos I qualified, but I didn't even I didn't even recall, so don't worry about it. That it's it's just an achievement to even qualify for the worlds. That in itself is so hard, you know. I think only like one percent of dancers actually qualify. Right, we'll do one more. Take are you mad at Jay? I'd be seeing seventy of the fortnight. <laughs> I wouldn't be seeing straight anyway. Right, I'll do one more. I can't believe he fucking rinsed me like that. Oh, really, Maeve? You don't qualify in Kogal, you just dance? Yeah, I was CLRG, so you had to qualify. What teams? Um, junior mixed Kaylee, junior girls Kaylee. Um, we had like two hands, three hands, like all of that, but we, did we dance them at the Worlds? I can't remember. Oh, deadly Maeve. I suppose that's better because it gives kind of everyone the opportunity to, to actually dance at the Worlds, you know what I mean? Because in CLRG it is quite, it's, like my age group, Maeve, my age group was actually Amy May's age group. I love seeing her TikToks now because she was like my idol growing up as an Irish dancer. Like Amy May, Shannon Bradley, all of those girls. That was my age group and it was so competitive. It was really fucking hard to even place because it was just so tough. Amy May was un... What, like what is it doing? I'm not doing that. Amy May was unbelievable. She was such a good dancer. Anime was an Amy May's age group too. I don't remember anime. Or maybe I do remember anime. I don't remember. What what school did anime dance with? Um, Maeve. I'm trying to think if I remember her. Yeah, I am new. <laughs> You'll see by how I play that I'm new. I'm probably literally gonna die straight away, guys, but we're just playing for fun, okay? Let's not get real, because every time I play this, people get real mad at me. Shit. Steps on me already. I need another gun. Bollocks, yeah. Jesus, will you ever give me a break? Just trying to loot up here, fucking hell.
Fucking hell, we're going against the storm here. We have 34 seconds, so let's loot this careful. Try and get... Where is it? It's normally in there. Oh, it's in here. I really need a better fucking shotgun, but I don't like them fucking gatekeeper ones. I don't like them. The tree shots doesn't work for me because my fucking aim is not good enough for that shit now. You could use some wings as well. What is it all the 100 flow brief is, is everywhere. There was loads last game as well. Right, let's get out of here. Actually, let's get this going. There's no car, no. <sighs> we have no car, girls. Does anyone actually like that hand cannon? What the hell? What was that? What the F was that? Guys, what was that signal? That unlocking signal on the fucking screen? Oh, it's on the train. Well done. Okay, that was good. We got them good. Okay, now let's get out of here. Shit! The storm. Let's go, girls. We could really use a freaking car, please. Sorry, girls. Why or just Clara give you girls? Does anyone know? Hello, we need to go to the store. Why am I going away? What direction? This direction. I fucking hate Reckless Railway. Sorry girls, once this game's over, I will have a read of all them comments that I'm missing out on.
All right, we need to go find some fucking enemies. Where are all you enemies? Where are you all? Is there a car here? There. Ooh, the bot is in Reckless Railways. We gon' get him. We make it. I have chokes, it's fine. Poseidon. Oh, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Get out. Fuck. Where was that car? Now I just confused myself. Oh, it's over there. How the fuck can I get out of here? Oh, there, there should be one over here. I need to go to the vault because I don't have a sniper. Do you know, like, driving is what I'm, like, absolutely worst at in this game and in GTA. I was so bad in GTA. Come on! Okay, hold on. We want to go to that vault. Is it still pinned? Yeah. Why is my car fucking sliding like that, you stupid cunt? Ah! Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, that's out of the circle. That one's out of the circle, girls, so we're gonna have to find a different one if we can. There's one at Graham and one here. Is that one not out of the fucking circle? No. Ah! No, I'm gonna do. Oh, there's someone over there, is there? Oh, there's a medallion on this ship. Where is I going? Over here. I'm literally after landing on the medallion. Not very clever. I need a sniper. I can't fucking see anything. Ooh, shots. Oh, look at him. Look at him, the little... Right, guys, I'm giving up now because I'm getting angry. When I get angry, I have to take breaks. Um, let me read back on these comments. So, oh my god, my fucking I.
Oh yeah, Anna or Maeve, sorry, I do remember. My God, my eye, girls, I need to go hide your on on it quick. Quick, cause it's really itching. You can find my jumper or something. Flatly himself. That is unreal, deadly, Flatly was there. I won 40 euro yesterday, well done. I know, but it's so itchy, Maeve. It's impossible not to. That's why I need to get hydrocortisone on it because it just stops me itching. Right, girls. I'm going to go. I might be back on later. We'll see. Love you. Hi, Molly and Ruby. I just hate it, honestly. I fucking hate it. Okay. I don't know why I hate it so much. Like, why? But... I just do. I literally haven't done a sunbed in ages. I'm so pale right now. Don't look at me. Oh, thank you, Gavin. I'm actually going to leave that pillow on because I'm going to have to take two of the pillows off tomorrow and wash them because oh, I only have four pillowcases and I need six, so... We're gonna have to leave two of them on. How's the eyes? It's a lot better at the moment, but it's still sore, quite sore. Girls at 12 a.m. People are saying this to me for years. 12 a.m. is early for me. Have we not learned by now that I am nocturnal? I don't go to bed till four, maybe 5 a.m. And I don't wake up till 12 p.m. in the afternoon. I've just always been that way. I never was an early riser. I was always a night owl. I got stuff done in the night time. That's how I always am. Do you have beef when you flinter? No. Definitely not. I literally have beef when you flinter. Thank you for the rose, guys. Sorry, don't be sending me gifts. Guys, I'm just in Ubik. I couldn't sleep now if I tried. Sure, I only got up a few hours ago. How could I sleep? <laughs> I'm just anemic. I'm always fatigued. I'm always yawning and I'm always tired, but I'm not actually tired. What's up? Hi, Kira. But yeah, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a night owl. I enjoy doing things in the night time. I don't enjoy getting up early. I don't enjoy doing things early. I like doing things in the night time. So that's what works for me. So that's what I do. And it works quite well. Okay, the amount of dust that came out of that is slight. Oh no, it's not dust, it's feathers. They're coming out of the duvet. The Saduk feather duvet, guys, by the way, in case you're wondering. But there is literal feathers falling out of this duvet, so that's making me worried. Just a little bit worried. Look, do you see the feathers? Hold on, let me catch them. <laughs> That's what I do. Did yours do that? Is that normal for a duck feather duvet, girls? Fucking feathers falling out of it all over the place. I thought we had some serious... Look at this, like. That's like, shit, you not, like, there's full-on blown feathers coming out. <laughs> Literally, duck feathers. <laughs> When they say duck feather, they ain't, they ain't lying. Yeah, it, me too, Aaron. People saying, Jesus, you look awful, hon. Are you not well? Oh, I'm just fucking anemic. 
I always thought as well that I was just iron deficient. And then I went and got my bloods done and I'm actually B12 deficient as well. So that's wonderful. We love that for me. And I'm actually supposed to get B12 injections, but I don't. And I don't take my iron either. Unless I know when I need to and when I don't need to. Like when you've had anemia your whole life, you <coughs> you can tell when you're having, <coughs> having like episodes that you need to take iron. I avoid it, which is probably stupid, but I avoid it because it really makes me sick. Like it makes me feel so sick. And my stomach, like my, I get really constipated and everything. Um, to be honest, I don't know because <coughs> I'm actually not sure. <coughs> Sorry, I can't. <coughs> There's a lot of dust in there. I think I'm allergic to dust. Um, I don't know what my symptoms were because I actually like never suspected that I was deficient in B12 until I got my bloods done and I've always been anemic. So... When people ask me, like, what are your symptoms of anemia? I have no idea. I was diagnosed with anemia when I was five or something, you know what I mean? So it's always just being how I felt. So I don't really know. But the one thing that I do... See how see how out of breath I am, actually? That's a symptom of anemia. Just from changing bed sheets, that's a symptom. It's also a symptom of smoking, so it could be multiple things. Um, one thing that I know for me was a big sign of anemia, but I only realised it as I got older. You get growing pains, but for like, not for like when you're a child, like <coughs> you get growing <coughs> pains as an adult all the time, all of the time literally in your legs especially when you're tired <coughs> god <laughs> yeah i do regret getting the fringe girls he's all warned me i did it anyway i learned a lesson are you still in the gym no she's swimming five times a week guys i will be joining back the gym soon I can't join the gym at the moment and I can't say why I can't join the gym, but I can't. Um, it's pointless because the, where I live is a very posh part of Dublin and the gym here costs ridiculous amount of money. It's like €100 Euro per month and on top of that, the joining fee is like €500, Euro, okay? So we're not going to be here for very long. So it's completely pointless me paying so much in a joining fee and stuff. But I'll be joining back soon. I do social media for work. That's my job. Do you miss Smart Fitness? Smart Fitness was so nice. That was such a nice gym. It was just real, like, chill or something. And it wasn't, like packed ever really yeah i liked smart fitness a lot i have been invested in irish history forever since i was in school since sixth class that's when my massive love and what is my camera down that's when my massive love for irish history came in sixth class it's not recent anyone that follows me and is an og follower since like back in 2020 knows that i used to make irish history videos Fun fact. Yes, me and Verse Talbers are still together. It's a, it was an April Phil's prank. Would you recommend social media as a career? Uh, no, like I wouldn't recommend to aspire to do social media because it's very difficult. Like it's a very, it's a very difficult environment to get into. Like I was very lucky that in 2020 when I joined TikTok, it was still kind of uncool, like everyone thought it was uncool and you're a bit of a loser if you had TikTok. So it was kind of easy to blow up back then because anyone that kind of made videos blew up, you know what I mean? Like that's how like, un, um, what's the word? 
like it wasn't a swamped environment. There wasn't a lot of people trying to be TikTokers in Ireland. Whereas now, fucking hell, thank fucking God that I started in 2020 and I was able to build my platform then because I wouldn't stand a fucking chance now. Like the shit you see on this app now and the competitiveness is, is so, like I really struggle to even keep up, you know? I really, really struggle to keep up. I find it a bit overwhelming at times because like, I don't know. But yeah, it's a very difficult environment in terms of like mental health. Um, obviously now me doing it a few years, I've overcome that aspect of it, but it can be debilitating. Like, uh, it can give you debilitating anxiety for sure. Um, and then on top of that, there's the whole like most people don't make it. You know what I mean? Most people who try to do social media don't make it. And I know that sounds awful to say but that's the truth because it's just such a swamped environment like I feel like you need to have some like something different about you like for example like protein bar has his accent then the galaxy bar guys have the galaxy bar thing like that's different um especially in the world of like female influencing with like fashion and lifestyle it's even harder because there's just so many people doing it honestly it there's so many people doing it and it's so hard to stand out from a crowd when there's like 500 people all doing the same thing. Does that make sense? But like, obviously, if it blows up, go for it. Social media is great. You, you can make great money on social media and and it can be amazing. It can give you so much freedom um, in terms of like your work and your work hours and your schedule. But yeah, there's just also that aspect of it's hard to get into. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I would say. Um, Sorry, guys, I'm missing so many comments. Did you have a dream job before social media? I actually had a few. So I wanted to be a journalist while I was in school. That was like my dream. I was really good at English in school, which is funny. People always slag my spelling now, but I actually am really good at English. I just I'm so used to not being in school and not having to spell things properly and talking on our phones and writing in shorthand that my spelling like on Instagram and all does be terrible. Like I'd be saying T-E-L-E for a telly instead of a. Do you get what I mean? Um, And then I wanted to be a midwife. Yeah, they were like the the two. Do you? I never lived in Thailand. I don't know where people get these ideas from. Never in my life have I lived in Thailand. Could be a gap in the market for food <laughs> reviews around Dublin. Fuck me, I doubt it. That's like the most... Do you know what? I feel like a lot of boys will disagree with me here. Yeah, like a lot of my friends that are boys that are influencers will probably disagree. But I really do feel like it's kind of gone easier for boys now than for girls. Like, it was always easier for boys in terms of criticism. Like, girls get heavily scrutinized on social media, whereas boys don't. Like, girls and boys can do the same thing. But if a girl does it, it's out outrageous. And if a boy does it, it's fine. And it's always been that way. Always. Like, I think... Even me in 2020 is a prime example of that. Like, you know, obviously Robbie Finnerty came on the app and was terrorizing everybody and was applauded for it. Whereas I came on and done some dances and was the worst in the world and was evil and everyone hated me. You know what I mean? So I think, and that's nothing to him. That's not me dissing him. It's just me like saying there's a huge difference in the scrutiny of males and females. Um. So yeah, I think it's nearly easier for men in a way and I think if you do have something different about you as a boy, like you're just going to have an easy ride when it comes to social media. And God, I know people are going to disagree with me on that because I know there is boys that do get a lot of hate as well. Like I know Nasty, for example, like some of the stuff I see up about him does be really bad. Like, um, and who else? Like there is boys that get quite a lot of hate and I know there is, but I'm just speaking in a general consensus here. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Um, I actually seen Keelan Moncrief speak about this recently and I re I don't know if I seen her speak about it or if I spoke to her about it but I definitely um I definitely think that there's a huge difference in the scrutiny of men and women 
in every aspect of life but in particular you can you can see a massive like difference on social media but do you know what's interesting is we kind of blame men for that and from my perspective as someone that's done social media now for years a large amount of the scrutiny that I get now don't get me wrong so much of it is from men and incels and misogynistic men like when I went on prime time fucking men gone what can she say she did only fans as if I don't have a brain because I did only fans you know like fuck me it's not possible to have tits and a brain be pretty and have a brain you can't do two things at once you know but also a huge amount of scrutiny that I get is from women. Like, honestly, like, I know it's just as many women. So I feel like the thing about it is that men are misogynistic to women a lot of the time. But women are misogynistic too. Women are, women, not all women, but a lot of women are equally as misogynistic as men. Honestly, that's the truth. That's my truth anyway. And that's what I've found. Women really uphold like the patriarchal, like examples of what men want women to be. Like men make the patriarchy and men make the, the standards. Yeah, but women uphold them. Uh, that's what I've seen more, more on my time on social media. I've had so many women like say the most misogynistic things ever about me. Even like just about me wearing clothes, just about what I wear. You know what I mean? I'm 51 and you're 100% right. Yeah, I think a lot of the time, I think that we should we should look back at ourselves. Like, I'm probably guilty of it at times too. I think we all are. That we've probably had this idea and ideology like put on us for so long that we kind of become partial to it. And we become, do you get what I'm saying? Do you blame them? Yeah, I blame anybody that speaks about how anybody dresses. I don't think it's anyone's fucking business what anyone wears. I think if you're more bothered at looking at someone else's clothes, that's just a reflection of how much you hate yourself internally. Because why are you so annoyed about what someone else wears? Why are you feeling the need to tell people to put their boobs away? Like if they want to have cleavage, like it's weird behavior. It's like you obviously are insecure about your boobs. You don't that you don't want to show yours off. So you don't want anyone else to show theirs off. Or you're insecure about your relationship and you don't want your man looking at other people's boobs. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't see the fight in the chipper, no. Yeah, I think people are just very past remarkable, like. And if people just spent as long passing remarks on themselves, they'd probably be better people, you know? Honestly, though, I feel like I've been, like, in this game on social media now for so long that it's, like, water off a duck's back to me. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I've been through so much on social media that I'm just, like, I don't care. Like, I literally do not care about anything anymore. Like, I don't care. And, you know, the thing is, people are, like, sheep as well. Like, this is mad, right? But, honestly, people will just go with the crowd, like... Tomorrow, everyone could decide that I'm the most evil person ever and they hate me. And everyone would just follow with like no proof that I'm an evil person with no true like reason to hate me. But if a majority does, then everybody will. You know what I mean? And it's the same as the other way around. Like one day, girls, I'm not joking. Like one day I just woke up and everyone just liked me on social media again. Like it was literally that quick. It was like a switch. But... It's mad because it's like people will just go with the popular opinion of someone like and that can change overnight. Like literally you can be liked one day and hated the next. Like that's how it is. That's how it is. <coughs> yeah, Kate, I think so. We were only talking about that today. <coughs> oh, my God. Um, my tracksuits are pretty in pink. Yeah, Johnny, that's what we're just saying. That, Like, even in a workplace, right? If you go into a workplace and, like, you're just normal. Like, if if two people in that workplace don't like you and they start talking about ev to everybody else about how they don't like you, then everyone else is not going to like you as well. There might be the odd one that does, but humans are, like, pack animals. So we run with the crowd. Like, that's our instinct to do. 
But that's another kind of danger with social media. Like you have to be aware of that and you have to be like tough to that and tough as nails and not take it personally, which can be really hard for some people, if that makes sense. I know a lot of people that just don't cope with, with social media. Um, and people that have deleted their accounts and stuff. And I, I don't, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. You said like 300 times that I know I'm Irish. Irish people do that. Hi, Steph. I actually haven't done Duolingo in a bit, in a minute, because I've been busy. Like, pro I've actually been busy recently, which is shocking for me. But I've had a lot of work to do recently. But um, I literally went on to it last night, and I, I'm going to start doing it every day again. Oh, how are you? Kind of the Hamid, we're not giving out at all. We're having a discussion about things. Why do people come on my live and be like, would you ever stop giving out? And I'm not even giving out. I'm sitting on the bed chilling, talking about something. You're actually giving out. You are giving out. Like you're the one that's giving out in the comments. No one else is giving out. It's such an example of like people project how they feel onto other people. Like me just saying.